I'm Africa Harrigan for the Legit Update. The Committee on Education and Workforce Development met with officials from the Department of Labor to discuss the status update of the unemployment insurance, unemployment rate, and workmen compensation. Commissioner Bryan stated that for 2014, the focus will be pushing entrepreneurship. But considering the current economic crisis, is this the right time to start that? Well, definitely. It's always the right time to uh, put entrepreneurship forward. The fact remains that we have a lot of people looking for work. And with the economic crisis, there are those who have skill who are at home who can do some stuff. We, we heard the commissioner speak about people who are making condoms, people who are doing t-shirts, people who are doing jewelry, people who are taking the initiative to go on the broadband, use the VING initiative, and start in e-commerce uh, businesses. This is absolutely the time for them to do that, and I'm in support of it. Can you share your take on the collaboration that the Department of Labor is having with other agencies? Yes, I, I take the opportunity to actually commend the Department of Labor and uh, the Commissioner did note that there are short staff, so I have to commend the entire department for going above and beyond to, to have available products and services for the unemployed and to make sure to match employer and, in, and underemployed, actually, and, or unemployed, because you have two two categories, unemployed and underemployed, and so to match them with employers because uh, if you look at the newspaper, you will not always find the vacancies there. Uh, there are not many ways you can find these vacancies, but if you go to the Department of Labor, and as the commissioner noted, the tool is also available on the internet, and you can stay in the comfort of your home. You don't have to go to the department where it's always so crowded to find employment and so they can also help employers find Virgin Islanders and others outside of the territory because of course the commissioner noted that we cannot discriminate as an American territory uh, against anyone because they're from some other place unless we're dealing with the EDC laws which are, are implemented to assist local employment to grow but you cannot prevent an employer from hiring who he wants to employ outside of that. Well, those tools exist. I'm happy that the commissioner, who's not only the head of labor, but also the chairman of the board for the EDA, or the Economic Development Authority, is in place and is pooling together the resources, not just of those two agencies, but also of DLCA and other agencies to help the unemployed and underemployed. Lawmakers also voted favorably for the following bills. Bill number 30.0013, Bullying Prevention Education, Gang Resistant Education and Training. Bill number 30.0174, and that codifying the Parent Student School Participation Program. And Bill number 30.0136, as it relates to corporal punishment of pupils in public. The three bills that passed today will help to shape the education system in our territory. The last bill was very lively, was a very lively discussion on the corporal punishment. Can you share your perspective on that? Most certainly. I was at the first hearing, I'm a member of the uh, Committee on Education and uh, Workforce. So I was part of that original hearing where the bill was introduced. And of course, the bill has been amended, and we had that discussion today in terms of the intent and the purpose. And I had to give it a lot of thought. I've given it a lot of thought, and I have voted uh, for the amendment, but not for it to go to the floor. I believe that it should go through the process of rules and judiciary. However, the merit of the bill is that we live in different times. Uh, even though my personal opinions on corporal punishment vary, but it does not deal with parental. It deals with in the schools. And given the department's position and the history uh, that the department also presented in reference to its ability and uh, to deal or not to deal with it uh, in terms of uh, standards, policies, mm -hmm. and that it varied from uh, school to school, it uh, also uh, concerns that the administration had uh, in reference to how would it be applied in terms of putting a um, policy in place. And I gave that all my thoughts and consideration, and I felt it was in the best 
interests that we most likely look at moving the bill uh, forward for further discussion, but it will come to the floor and we'll have further discussion on it. It is not a community that it was when I was growing up. Mm -hmm. There are different dynamics. Uh, most parents have issues relating to how their uh, children uh, should be corrected within the setting. Um, all those various arguments, uh, acts of violence being perpetrated uh, on our children through um, uh, spanking and correction. But again, it starts at home and the parents have to do what they feel is necessary in raising their children in love and also in a respectful way uh, that they are not abused. And uh, if we're going to have the Department of Education implement uh, policy, then it has to be consistent and across the board. And from their testimony, they had uh, difficulty in ensuring that if there was such a policy that, in fact, it would be in the best interest of the student, in the best interest of the teacher, the administration, the institution, and likewise the concerns of parents. Thank you for tuning in to Legit's coverage of the Committee on Education and Workforce Development. Also, you can subscribe on YouTube at LegVI1. Follow us on Twitter at LegislatureVI and on Facebook at 30th Legislature. I'm Africa Harrigan for Legit TV.